Good morning, friends. Every day is a new opportunity to live life to the fullest. Don't allow the outside voices to dictate how you move. You live life your way. Hello again, folks. Uh, today's footage comes from my three visits to the beautiful island of Koh Samoy. You'll notice flights from Bangkok usually run around $120 round trip. But be mindful that if you book last minute or if you're trying to fly during the period that's close to full moon party, the rates are probably going to jump drastically. A reason for that is because Samui Airport is privately owned by Bangkok Airways. They are kind enough to provide a light snack on the flight. Uh, this time was a pastry filled with some type of chicken curry and a bottle of water. Made it to Koh Samui at uh, Casa de Mar. It was 120 baht to get from the airport to the hotel. Because I took the little minivan. I could have took a personal taxi like right then and there and it, it was 400 baht i was like i'll wait i ain't, I ain't got enough of time so 120 baht for the van got over here checked in my room uh, this this hotel is it's a little bit north of where kind of like the main part of the action is i just asked the dude back because there's no taxis coming by here it's, i mean you can see it's a quiet street street you know um, the beach is this way behind me I, I looked up bolt to take me where I want to go it's like bolts not available so there was a dude standing outside I said this first time you've been to Costa Moy he was like yeah I said it don't look like there's any taxis around here man he said yeah just walk up walk up here a minute walk back this way and then turn right at the intersection and he said there's some taxis You'll be able to find one up there. So that's where I'm headed. That's where he said the taxis were. Maybe it's some taxis at the top of that hill. All right, I'm at the top of that hill. It's a place right here where you can rent motorbikes. I don't really want to do that. I seen two taxis come past and I also seen what appeared to be a bot bus so here they come right now there's the bot bus and there's a taxi so if you stand here I don't think they they take too awful long to get to uh, come by I'm gonna find out Next one that come by, I think I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna ask him and find out how much it is to go. Taxi dude stopped. He was like, I could bring you down there to Green Mango area. I said, how much? He said, 200 baht. I said, how much is the bot bus? He said, 100. I said, I'll wait for the bot bus. He said, you're gonna be waiting a long time. I said, well, I'll wait. He said, okay, 150, come on. I said, nah, bro, I'll wait for the, for the bot bus. Now, we're gonna find out if the bot bus really is 100 baht. Because I didn't wait for the bot bus. He was like, I'll take you for 100 baht. I was like, all right, dude. He might have he got me. Maybe it's only 20 or 30 baht for the bot bus. I don't know. We'll find out here shortly. Man, what, look at this. Right on the sidewalk. Like, yeah, just, okay. man, that would not go over in the, in the States. I can tell you that right now. You can go see you some Russian showgirls. You want to see some Russian showgirls? You go up in the galaxy. It's out of this world. 
<laughs> yeah, this place right here looks like it's gonna be nice. Whatever it is, hotel, restaurant, both. I don't know. They look like they're working on this building right here too. by the architecture and the uh, design, man, it looks like it's probably nice. But as you seen right there, I can't, I can't get in. You gotta go. To this resort back here, I guess they've got a, they've got a lobby over there somewhere. You gotta check in over there. What I was trying to do was get somebody to show me a room. Because this this place looks nice. When I get back to the hotel, I'm gonna look it up. I mean I could pull it up on my phone, but I'm gonna look it up and see if there's any pictures of this place. Because it looks nice. I'm gonna head on over here. Like I said to my pack or pal lady. Hunter bot. Pack or pal moo crop. I'll probably get a bottle of water. Cause I will probably get a beer or two before I go to this Muay Thai fight tonight. So I'll probably drink water with my meal. Because I'm a fat boy. trip right in front of the stadium it's lined with bars on both sides so be sure to give them a look if you're ever out this way uh, one of my favorite spots on the strip the mama son challenged me to a game of pool so i took her up on her offer <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
after the game and a couple drinks, I decided to walk up the road to the 7-Eleven and grab myself some ice cream. Cause I'm a fat boy. And everyone out there knows you cannot have ice cream without cake. So why the cop? <laughs> Once again, from beautiful Koh Samui, another beautiful day out here. Humidity's up just a little bit, but it's not horrible. Well, I, I say that. I always say that until I'm standing outside walking around for about 20 minutes and then I realize how hot it really is. I don't know if this had something to do with the dumb situation we went through the past few years and they just didn't have enough business and had to shut down or what happened but it's kind of messed up man resort right here and it looks like it's a couple more right here little hotels that aren't really doing it looks like they're shut down to me can't probably can't see that but the beach is right there you know you can uh Hopefully, I've already showed you in another video. It's the villas that are right across the street from the hotel that I'm staying in. You can walk down their little path and it'll put you right on the beach. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me just said going to Chowang Beach, 200 baht. So. I don't know. Maybe these people will, maybe they will take a hunter. You know, because the taxi guy told me that he's, that they'll take a hundred. So, but all, all the ones that I've asked, they said 150. 150 or 200. Got some banana fritters with some honey, eggs and bacon, and some toast up there. A little bit of coffee and cream, apple juice, bottle of water, strawberry jam. That's why I can't lose no weight, y'all. I, I eat too much. <laughs> Cause I'm a fat boy. This little fuss face. I don't know what she doing. What are you fussing about? Y'all want to know how pretty it is? I'll show you. I'm going to show you how pretty it is out here. And I actually decided to get in the water today, which is rare for me. I, I usually don't get in the water because I can't swim. So, but uh, 
it was too nice. It was way too nice to not do it. Plus I was prepared. I think that's another reason why I usually don't get in the water because I usually don't wear trunks or anything like that. Today I actually had some extra shorts and my flip flops and all that. So a little easier to make the decision to go ahead and get in the water. It also helps that it's so warm out here because you can get in, get out, sit on the lounge chair for a little bit and before you know it your clothes are pretty much dry again so um, but anyway I'm walking down here to a bar uh, it's a friend of a friend on Facebook that owns a bar down here I'm just trying to go give her some business you know maybe buy a couple beers and chill out for a minute because um, I think fur further down this way is not a whole lot of tourists so like I say, just trying to spread the love a little bit, you know. The whole time, I really didn't even know. I usually do more research before I go somewhere. This time, I really didn't. And so I didn't realize how big the island was until I got here. Um, whatever, I don't. Some people look at that and be like, no, what's wrong with you? Why would you do that? Well, it's part of the fun, man. It's, part, it's fun to me to sometimes just wake up and go. And it is what it is. Figure it out when you get there. That's part of the adventure to me, you know? But also, like I said, a big part of my mode is I just like to chill out, man. I spent so much of my life just ripping and running and running and running and running and running and, and constantly chasing stuff that don't even matter that I'm at a point right now where I just want to vibe, man. I just want to chill out. You know, find me a cool little place with some cool people that's not going to bug the out of me and Take it easy. But anyway, I gotta go see if I can find this little bar. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Okay, What's going on, people? Where we at right now? Tell them where we at. Uh, Chowain Beach. Chowain Beach. Not not Beach. It's called Chowain Noi anyway. Chowain Noi. What's What's this road right here? Road. Hmm? Road. So you gotta speak up. Yeah. Ladder. Yeah. Road. Soy new teeth. Soy new Road. Okay. What she said. What's, <laughs> what's the road out here on the corner? I mean the intersection. Uh, if you turn right, you will see Bangkok Hospital. Okay. If you turn left, you have to go to Lamai Beach. So she's at this main intersection right here, right on the left. If you make a left at the intersection, it will take you to Lamai Beach. I'll try to put it on the map so you'll see where she's at. So, it's massage. Oh, that's a jack shack. <laughs> and it probably is. Well, ain't no probably about it. I'm pretty sure it is. Have I been to a massage parlor like that since I've been here in Koh Samoy? Under that definition? Yes, I have. Is this one of them? Probably, but I haven't asked for those services here. Okay, so that right there should tell you, I, I mean, I don't care whether y'all know or not. Who cares? It is what it is. I just came here to have a drink. But then at night, she's got this little space and right next door, it's just a little outdoor space with a couple tables. And you serve drinks? Yes. She serves drinks. Good place to just come and chill out, man. You know? Sometimes it's not always about what y'all think it's about. Sometimes you just come and relax. Meet new people. Bye, that's it. Got, my, got myself a beer. They brought me some peanuts that I'm almost done with. And I'm gonna ask for some more. Wow. <laughs> she didn't have, why you don't have Sprite? Have what? Sprite. Sprite. Yeah, you don't have Sprite. Oh, yeah. Oh, you like Sprite? Sprite with Red Bull. Uh, I have... Uh, you have Coke. Yes. No Sprite. Where is it? Is there a store I here? Have, yeah. Do you buy me? I can buy. I can. You do? I give you money and you go buy? Yeah, yeah, the Coke. The Coke can see, buy. You see? Not me. You see, I, I said, I give you money and go buy. She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. real fast. <laughs> <laughs> she said, yeah, real fast. Yeah. <laughs> money can hear everything. <laughs> can repair all the problems. <laughs> Yeah. 
Say hello. Hello from Thailand. Hello from Thailand. From Koh <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if y'all can hear that. I thought it was like cicadas. That's the freaking electrical wires. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I'm going to have brain cancer by the time I get to the top of this hill. <laughs> That's crazy. The one taxi driver that I took earlier paid him a hundred baht to bring me down here and then I never asked the bot bus how much they charge but I was walking back and um, motorcycle taxi he told me a hundred baht and I was like nah dude I'm not paying that and I kept walking <laughs> and he was like come on hundred baht whatever I was like, no, I'm not paying that. I kept walking. And I guess he realized I was serious. I wasn't paying that. So he was like, okay, 50 baht. And I was like, all right, I'll pay that. 50 baht. That's definitely one thing I've learned. I, I should have just stuck with my gut. You know, there was a hotel that I seen. I looked at it like two or three times. And I was going to book it. And I, at the last minute, I changed and, and booked a different hotel. Like an idiot, I booked it for a darn female. <laughs> booked it for a freaking female. And she was on some BS. So, whatever, man. Now, if I ever come back here again, I know, you know, that's it's a nice hotel, but it's just a little bit too far. If I would have stayed at the other place, I could have walked everywhere. Now my hotel of choice on Samoy is The Stay. And as you can see, it's a very nice establishment. One of the main things I like about this hotel is that it's very close to all the action in Chiwang. Uh, you can pretty much walk everywhere. You can walk outside the hotel down the, it's essentially like a little boardwalk and you'll continue toward the rear of the hotel and it'll bring you past the pool and a restaurant. You'll end up on the beach, but you can also walk down Chiwang Beach Road, which is the, the main road through town. And uh, you see you can walk to Green Mango. Most people after Green Mango closes, they head right over here to the Black. It's another club. And there's also some bars and clubs down this other side over here.
on this morning. My flight leaves here at 2.45. My goal was to get a massage and to get some lunch at my favorite pack or pal place. But I'm gonna have to omit the massage and just go get lunch if I wanna make my flight on time. If you're wondering why I'm huffing, it's cause I'm climbing this big ass hill and I'm a fat joker out of shape. So I can't breathe, man. Help me. We're going on up here to Sandwich Legend. I ate there last night. I ate there every day. I have eaten there every day since I've been here. It's great food. Let's see if she's in here. So why do you cop? crispy chicken going on or crispy pork. I think that's chicken all right like I said yes uh the plan is to not have a plan <laughs> so I got here I talked to the owner last night she said yeah I open at I don't know 9 30 or 10 30 something like that this morning she said I'll have the the crispy pork pack or pal for you cool I get here owner isn't here and the girl that's working here is like no we don't serve Thai food right now Hold on one second. Just just lettuce, tomato, mayo, yes ma'am. Yes, yes. And chicken. Thank you. Chicken cutlet. And uh, I'll have some french fries. Probably grab a I'll probably come over here and grab a bottle of water. I'm here to tell you this thing was so good. <laughs> mm. Man, that thing right. You hear me? Chicken cutlet with some cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayo, on ciabatta bread. This thing good. Oh my goodness, I'm full. All right, let's get to the airport. Say hello from Koh Samui. <laughs> now my second trip to Samui included a trip to Full Moon Party on Koh Phangan with some friends. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. Just got off the boat back in uh, Koh Samui. At, uh, it's called Bang Rock Pier. I'm going to go back. It's a restaurant right across the street from the entry to the pier. Uh, I think it's called something like Pink Salt or something like that. I'm about to go back over there. They made something to eat. I didn't eat nothing this morning. I just wanted to make sure I didn't puke on the boat. Morning friends. Here at the marina. Gonna we'll take a day trip. 42 islands. It's a national park. They'll have snorkeling and kayaking, some other activities. I'm not getting into all that. Uh, I'm really just going to see. The, the view of the islands. Uh, I 
Puedes para verlo aquí. My third visit to Samoy again included a ferry ride to Copangan. Unfortunately, my allergies got the better of me, so I skipped full moon party and I just relaxed on the beach. Now, once I took the ferry back to Samui, that's when I met this young lady and she joined me for my trip to Koh Tao. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below.